Hey there YouTube, this is VargasXX78 with another uh, pickup video. Uh, I'm a week away before Comic Con, so I decided to go to my comic book store and pick up everything that was on hold for me. Because I, I want to uh, catch up on everything before Comic Con, because I don't want anything uh, spoiled there. Uh, so, like always, I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, but first off, I do want to talk about uh, this game. This is the game that I bought of few well a lot <laughs> a few weeks ago from uh, my friend uh, you, uh, and he finally gave it to me and it's Metroid Other M uh, developed by Team Ninja and I'm, I'm liking this I haven't played it that much because I he just gave it to me yesterday but uh, I've been playing it uh, really liking it uh, I have to watch out for that uh, game breaking glitch but other than that I'm really enjoying it also, in between the week, I was able to go to one swap meet, and I picked up uh, Volume 1 of the 100 Bullets graphic novel, uh, written by Brian Acerello, drawn by Eduardo Rizzo. And uh, it was 10 pesos, again, less than a dollar. Uh, but I picked it up mostly because this team is doing the Flashpoint Batman Night of Vengeance mini. So, And I'm really liking that, so I decided to give this a chance, and it's really, really good. I'm going to see if, uh, if I can track down the rest of the 100 Bullets graphic novels at Comic-Con, but really, really enjoyed this a lot. Okay, uh, picked up Amazing Spider-Man issue 664. Uh, with a really cool cover of Anti-Venom, Spider-Man, and Wraith, where they finally take down Mr. Negative. So, really cool. Uh... Amazing Spider-Man 665, one issue to go before the big Spider Island crossover where the whole island of Manhattan has gotten spider powers thanks to the Jackal, so let's see how that works out. Picked up a Venom issue 4, uh, Flash Thompson is able to regain control of the symbiote, uh, stop himself from killing Spider-Man, so Spider-Man ends up saving Betty Brandt. But Really, really liking the Venom series. Uh, really looking forward to it crossing over with Spire Island. And I really want to see what they end up doing with Venom and Flash Thompson. So, really cool. Uh, the surprise of the year uh, picked up Fear Itself Issue 4. Uh, was really, really burned out with Marvel uh, crossovers. But Fear Itself is turning out to be really, really cool. Uh, Bucky Barnes did actually die last issue. So, Steve Rogers picks up the mantle of Captain America again and uh, him and the other Avengers take the fight to uh, to the God of Fear so really really good uh, crossover picked up Spider-Man Fear, Fear Itself issue 3 of 3 where uh, Spider-Man takes on the fear controlled thing and it does not look <laughs> good for Spider-Man but that really cool nonetheless picked up Fear Itself Wolverine issue 1 of 3 uh, Wolverine enters the miniseries of Fear Itself, and a terrorist group controls uh, takes control of a hammer ship that has a nuclear warhead, so Wolverine has to stop them fast. It's so-so. Picked up Batman and Robin issue 25, concluding the uh, team-up of Batman and Robin with the Red Hood. Uh, really, really like this issue. Uh, Judd Winnick did uh, some really good writing here, so... Recommend that one. Picked up Batman Arkham City issue 3. Kick ass cover with the Joker and Harley Quinn there. Uh, really good series, and it's really getting me excited for the video game that's going to come out. So, yeah. Picked up Batman Incorporated issue 7. Uh, good artwork, generally good writing, but Grant Morrison uh, is one of those really weird writers. And I'm um, not happy that he's going to take over Action Comics. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Picked up a back issue, Fantastic Four, issue 574. Mostly because it stars uh, Spider-Man. And during the, the birthday of Franklin Richards, so good issue. Picked up FF, issue 5. Which continues in FF issue 6. Uh, put the whole storyline on pause to explain why Black Bolt 
who died in the War of Kings along with Vulcan, uh, is back from the dead. So, yeah, I was really excited about the whole war that the alternate reads were causing, and now that, you know, to have a pause kind of breaks up the story, but it's still good reading. Picked up Flashpoint Issue 3. Uh, the Flash is able to get his powers back. So he convinces Batman to uh, team up with Cyborg to look for Superman. And they find Superman, but uh, they find him in a really, really bad shape. Um, Dark Avenger all, uh, did a, a more detailed review of this. And uh, basically, it's a, if you like Superman, it's a slap on the face, but... Uh, it seems very appropriate that Superman looks as he does in this issue, uh, considering everything they're going to do to him in the reboot, so... Yeah. Picked up uh, Batman Night of Vengeance, issue 2. Really, really good comic book. Uh, they reveal who the Joker is in this new universe, and it's uh, Martha Wayne, so... Yeah, it's kind of messed up, but really good reading. Picked up a Project Superman, issue 1. Uh, basically, they take the soldier and infuse him with uh, superpowers, but at the end of the issue, the rocket that's carrying Kal-El smashes into Metropolis. So, really interesting. To, really interesting to see how this works out. Picked up Green Lantern issue 67, concluding the War of the Green Lanterns. Uh, spoiler alert: uh, Sinestro uh, is reincorporated into the corpse. Uh, Hal Jordan kills Krona, so they kick him off the corpse and they teleport him back to Earth. So, yeah, really, really interested to see what they do with this on the reboot because uh, Green Lantern's uh, the only title, along with Batman, that's not going to be affected too much by the reboot. But let's see what happens there. Picked up Superman issue 713. Uh, Superman's almost done with his whole walking across America thing. Uh, but he decides that the best way that he can help people is by uh, giving up his Superman persona and doing everything as Clark Kent. But that lady that has been following Superman uh, across his journey uh, kidnaps Lois Lane and threatens her unless Superman shows up. So let's see how everything wraps up in 714. Picked up the last issue of Prelude to Schism, focusing entirely on Wolverine. A really good Wolverine cover, and that leads to uh, Shism, where Kid Omega uh, returns, and uh, this kid is uh, the new leader of the Hellfire Club. So, the artwork is really, really good. L let's see where the story goes. <coughs> Picked up on Kenny X Men, issue 539. Uh, Hope is uh, uh, on a mall shopping, she gets kidnapped. And Wolverine rescues her, but it's, uh, you know, he ends up in a really bad way. Good, good issue. Picked up the, what should be the norm, and not the exception, Uncanny X-Men Fear Itself. Uh, the crossover actually crossed over one of the main titles, which you, they should have done in all books instead of releasing so many darn minis. But uh, picked up Uncanny X-Men 540 where the Juggernaut is making his way uh, to San Francisco, and uh, there's a lot of talking. Dark Adventure also mentioned this. There's a lot of talking in this book, but hopefully next issue has the big brawl between the Juggernaut and the X-Men. Picked up, finally, Marvel Zombie Supreme Issue 5. Jack of Hearts is back to full power, and she, uh, he's taking down the Squadron Supreme, but I really, really love this, this cover. It's a really cool cover. Picked up Marvel Universe vs. Wolverine, which is actually a prequel to Marvel Universe vs. Uh, the Punisher. Um, the Punisher actually caused the outbreak of this virus that uh, de-evolves people into cannibals. Uh, you know, the Punisher one uh, featured the end of everything, and this one with Wolverine features the beginning. And the end of the issue, he ends up killing all the X-Men because they're, they've been infected. They're not really zombies, they're like rage cannibals and stuff, but it's a really good read nonetheless. Really liking this. Picked up Artifacts, issue 8. Uh, people have mass-produced Aphrodite 4. 
and they're fighting Cyber Force and uh, the other mystical her heroes. And uh, things are not looking good, but at the end of the issue, uh, Sarah uh, kisses uh, Jackie Estacado. So I don't know what's going to happen with Gleason, but good book nonetheless. Picked up Witchblade 146. Uh, a lot of this book, really, really cool. Uh, they reveal the origin of this crown that uh, possesses an evil spirit. A thief uh, steals the crown and is possessed by the evil spirit. But she has a thing against the Witchblade and the Angela, so... Yeah, really cool. Picked up Wolverine 12. Wolverine is still continuing his quest for revenge. But, uh, you know, the hand and the right hand are, seem to have something in common. And they reveal another story of a guy that has it for Wolverine. Really, really liking this this Wolverine series. Picked up a Wonder Woman 612. Almost done with this uh, this storyline. Uh, Wonder Woman is able to defeat the last of the Morrigan. Uh, she goes up against the Big Batty, and it's revealed to be uh, the main universe Wonder Woman. So next issue, there's going to be a big battle between the new Wonder Woman and the old Wonder well the old evil possessed Wonder Woman. So, uh, like I said, really looking forward to see how this whole ends, even if with the reboot uh, it doesn't really seem to matter, but still liking Wonder Woman. Picked up uh, issue one of three of Sonin Jump with Naruto there on the cover. Sonin Jump, just a lot more goodness. Love Sonin Jump. And I also picked up uh, some more pins. Uh, you know, uh, promoting the Green Lantern movie, they had uh, three pins. Got Emerald Warrior and Join the Corpse. Got the Project Superman pin uh, because I picked up uh, the Superman book. And my comic shop actually is selling the pins, each for a dollar. And the only reason I bought them is because uh, DC said they weren't going to give them out at Comic Con. So I picked up the Wonder Woman pin. And I picked up the uh, Lewis Lane Resistance pin. Uh, the other pins I'm not that much interested in. I might pick up the one for uh, the Outsider and the one for Deathstroke. But I think these are this one, these uh, the Green Lantern one I picked up, and the Batman one and the Aquaman one are the only pins I'm gonna pick up. But yeah, and these Green Lantern ones are really cool. So, that was the pickup video. Uh, like always, I thank so much for watching. And uh, as my reading recommendation, I am going to go with Marvel Universe vs. Wolverine, because I love Wolverine. And uh, this series promises to see him, even though I know what's going to eventually happen to Wolverine. It promises a lot of action and Wolverine taking down a lot of characters that uh, you know, are infected, so, yeah, lots of fun. So until I see you again, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching, and this is Vargas XX78, signing off.